So there's this thing that is going around or that exists or whatever you want to call it. The not all men excuse phrase blah blah blah. Someone says, oh I hate it how men, not all men, and honestly in a lot of the female community it's kind of made fun of a lot because it's really fucking stupid. Now, since I am a woman, I'm probably gonna get some people in the comments saying, well, so we'll fucking blah, 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 um, you're just a feminazi and all this other stuff, but hear me out. Men say shit like, oh, fucking women, or I hate it, women are all like this, and make general, those same, or even more often, they make generalizations about women, and you don't hear every single woman going, not all women! Like, so why is it- okay, when someone makes a comment about something, are they necessarily- like, and also sometimes I've done the not all women thing to guys just to show them what it feels like. Like, well obviously not, I was just talking about blah 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 blah. Same goes for women saying men stuff about men. And you can't make it to be- in the first place, why do people make generalizations like this about something that affects every single person in humanity? Well, mostly. Anyways, like, for the most part, we're all either- well, okay, that's actually really- that's a shitty generalization, saying that we're all man or woman, because, you know, there's those who fall in between. But, like, it's like saying all of this certain group of people are the same, which is completely incorrect, considering that every single human being has a, cer a certain level of individuality. Um, and- we're talk when we oftentimes when people say shit about men, it's more talking about the men who are in control of society or the ones who are like, oh, I'm a man and a manly man, I guess, is what most of the time they're talking about. The ones who are perpetrators of the problem instead of trying to help with the solution. Um, now, I myself am kind of in a gray area between the two sides. Or maybe it's just because I'm a true feminist, not one of those, you know, trying to go the complete opposite direction in that oppressing men, which is not the way to go either. I think we all should just be equal. Um, like when I fight against rape culture, I'm also fighting against men um, feeling like they can't talk about being raped because they'll lose their macho status or whatever, especially if they're raped by a woman, which does fucking happen, by the way. And if it did happen to you, then, you know, don't be afraid to seek help for it, but just try to find help that's going to be a bit more supportive. Actually, whenever I see all these rape shelters for women, 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 I see nothing for men, even though... Men do get raped too, and by women sometimes, in, or by me other men, like it happens and yet there's no support for them and I think that's completely wrong. But at the same time, like, it's just, I think we gotta stop with this sort of sense of generalization. Overall, according to statistics and surveys and all this other stuff, men tend to be a little bit misogynistic. Does that mean all men are? No! It's just a tend to, not a are. So, I think instead of, whenever someone says something uh, against men, instead of defending them, feeling like you're defending yourself, maybe you should recognize, yeah, that guy was an asshole, I can't believe someone would do that, kind of thing, instead of like saying, oh, fucking men doing this, that, the other things, like, well, yeah, that person was really bad, I agree that that person should be stopped and that sh behavior shouldn't be allowed, and just kind of do that. Cause instead of just, instead of telling them that you're different, show them that you're different. Because they can hear, I mean, actions speak louder than words. If you're, you know, being told that someone is different with having no supporting evidence, it might as well be a lie because you have no way of proving that what you're saying is true. But if you show that not all men are like that, that you show that you're a different, you're not like that asshole, then, you know, they'll start, they'll believe it a lot more. It'd be like, yeah, that guy was an asshole and I'm ashamed to be, like, or, like I've even heard people, like, I've seen someone, like, I, I actually saw this happen one time. Someone, a woman was making, like, generalizations, oh, men are such, you know, this and everything. It's like, I was uh, talking about this one experience with someone. It's like, yeah, that guy was an asshole. I'm ashamed to be uh, called a man because uh, of him. 
or what he did or something along those lines. I don't remember word for word, but you get the idea. And then she kind of like stopped and thought, and that actually kind of helped her change her mind more. If she had just said, like, well, not all men are like that. Jeez, stop being so sexist and crap. Which sexism either way is just stupid and annoying needs to stop. But unfortunately, in this society that is ruled by the white heterosexual man, everyone else is kind of screwed in a lot of areas. So just because you are a white heterosexual man does not mean that you are a problem unless you do nothing to fix the problem because the person who stands by against injustice is just as bad as those causing the injustice. Does this mean that you have to dedicate your own time and energy and everything else? Not necessarily, but like if you hear someone saying something that's not, that's not cool, all you have to do is say, hey guys, that's not cool, let's not talk about it, or something like that. You don't have to just, instead of, you know, just agreeing with it or going along with it, like, you know, say, it's like, if they start talking, it's like, okay, you know what, guys, I'm not enjoying your conversation, I'm gonna go hang out with whatever, I'm gonna go do something else, or whatever. You don't have to do much, just don't agree. Because I agree, because not everyone has the energy in them to be social, justice, whatever. I, I, I admit that. Sometimes I'm all like, yeah, social fucking justice, and other times I'm like, I don't want to deal with this shit right now. Depending on my personal mood, feelings, what's going on in my life, etc, etc, etc. Just don't be, you know, a bystander. I guess.